how I started my fitness journey, and how you can too. Uh, so yeah, when I was a kid, I wasn't really good at uh, most sports, uh, although I did enjoy PE just because I enjoyed running around, getting at the boring classes, having some fun, uh, doing all that stuff, what most kids do. But, but yeah, when I was you know, a kid, wasn't good at sports, but I, I enjoyed it. And then moving into high school years, I enjoyed PE a lot more, even though I didn't really enjoy the sport, the sport side of things, uh, when you get into like, when, at least in my high school, when we got into like the, uh, when we did sport, some part, some semesters, some assignments were more fitness based, and some a majority of it was sport based, but there was fit, some fitness stuff. And then going into year 12, 11 and 12, I did both, both sport to recreation, uh, sport and recreation, what was more, not really sport related, but outdoor ed and uh, and then fitness. I did that both year 11 and 12. And then in year 12, I also did, um, I mean, not year 12, in year 11, sorry, I, I also did a uh, cert for in fitness because um, growing up, I didn't know what I really wanted to do for a, a work. Um, and because I love fitness, I also did years of martial arts, in, in particularly Taekwondo. And for those who've done martial arts before or, you know, martial art, tra martial art training, uh, in terms of fit the fitness is a lot different to other sp sports like soccer, you know, rugby, footy, all that type of stuff. It's a lot different. You know, it's, it's, it's still very cardio. There's still a lot of cardio, but there's a lot. There's also a lot more compared to other sports of like physical exercise. Like there's a lot of push ups, a lot of sit ups, a lot of squats, wall sits. The list goes on because you know for things like soccer, footy, and all that, your cardio is more important. And um, in terms of strength, it's more in the legs because obviously you, we, just the further you kick a ball, the better, but you're in order to be too heavy because you want to be more athletic. Why with martial arts, I, 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 from the sport perspective, I didn't do it for sport, I did it for self-defense learning. I was young and stuff. Um, and my mum also wanted me to do it for, I wanted to do it, my mum liked it more for the self-defense and less for the sport side. And I wasn't really, when I was younger, I wasn't really interested in doing it as a sport, but anyway. But from the sport perspective, it's whole body based on strengthening and conditioning uh, compared to, with still also a lot of cardio. And I really enjoyed that exercising. And, and when I, a lot of the time when I didn't train martial arts, especially when I quit, I haven't done it for a couple of years now, but when I quit, martial arts to stay fitness i would still train at home i was young i was like 17 18 i didn't really f want to go to i thought the gym was a good idea but i thought you can get i preferred trying to get the results at home what i'm going to get into later in the video but yeah anyway i love fitness so when i was in high school i did i did my cert free in fitness because in year 10, my school starts to put a little bit of pressure onto figuring out what you want to do after school because you're getting close to the end now. Um, and I didn't really have an idea and then I kind of came to the idea I wanted to be a PT. And then to my luck, they released uh, the very first year they did uh, for year 11 and 12 only a cert free fitness course, um, what I did. But after doing that course and learning more about the industry and what's actually involved, there's a lot more paperwork. Uh, you have to, it, there's essentially there's a lot more paperwork and uh, you, you have to do than the actual training. Obviously you do a lot, you train, but it's not the same. Um, obviously now with this YouTube, I want to, like I mentioned in my very first video, I want to become an online fitness coach. Um, I do have some qualification, but you'd, I've looked it up. You don't need any qualification in saying that though. I'm my own testimony, plus people that trust me. I've, I'm helping my friend uh, my friend uh, improve because he trusts me. I've got another friend. So I have some knowledge of what I'm talking about. And I also do my own research. I study because I really enjoy fitness. I guess you could say I'm one of the you know, fitness freaks that actually enjoy it and don't. And it's not a chore for me. I enjoy it. It's, it's, it's fun. 
Um, so yeah, all my life, although I haven't been really good at most sports sports, and I've tried soccer, I've tried all of them, I didn't really enjoy it, but I found enjoyment in taekwondo, um, and that was different. That's different to most sports sports, like I mentioned earlier. Like I also mentioned uh, a little bit, a little while ago, um, when I finished, so when I stopped doing martial arts, I still continued to train at home, and at first, I was very disciplined but because i trained in my room there's lots of distractions my phone my playstation in year 12 because i stopped doing martial arts i think year 12 but i still wanted to get and be in good shape so what i used to do is i would finish my homework and before, at the time <laughs> black ops 4 came out call of duty the new call of duty black ops 4 came out i really wanted to play it with the boys i was really excited and all the boys are always on it. So what I would do, is obviously year 12 is a big year, so I've got to be productive and make sure I, do, I actually do my, my work and I work. I'm like, when I was younger, but I was really serious then. So I would do, I would do uh, my homework and then I would work out and then I would I'd discipline myself to work out and then I would go and, uh, and, um, you know, play PlayStation. At the time, I used to call my girlfriend as well. So I'd, I had a girlfriend at, at school, call her as well. Anyway, the reason why I stopped training, I mean, every now and then I train at home if I'm like really sick. And I, like when I had COVID, I would exercise at home. But that was, that was like last year when I was getting really serious about working out. Um, and I didn't want to lose any of my results. But that doesn't, that's not really relevant for this video. Um, but I will say, after school, I didn't really have a reason. I didn't have to, I, you know, I had all day to work out. So then the discipline kind of fell. Um, so I'd go constantly, after high school, I'd constantly go through phases where I'd work out a lot and I'd work out at home. But the biggest issue for me with working at home is that all I had was a couple dumbbells, four kilo dumbbells and 10 kilo dumbbells. It was a big jump, especially for some exercise. That's a massive jump. Um, and uh, I had no park nearby that I could do pull-ups on, so it was just like a lot of bodyweight stuff. And calisthenics is great. It's better than free weights, but it's harder to get started, especially if you don't have access to pull-up bars or stuff. So if you, um, so yeah, kind of my whole story with my fitness journey. Uh, I started. I enjoyed fitness is i enjoyed didn't really enjoy the ball sports like footy and soccer but i did enjoy running around and trying to keep the ball around or stuff so i uh, wasn't good at it but i still kind of enjoyed it and then i felt like i said i found enjoyment but i specifically found the enjoyment in the fitness aspect and that same with taekwondo i enjoyed taekwondo i was good at taekwondo um i enjoy martial arts i'm thinking i'm actually thinking about getting back into it i'm uh fighting or well, boxing and I might I might do do some fifth like professional fights well, obviously at an amateur level maybe um, but I definitely because it's good fitness it's good for you in a lot of ways but yeah so enjoyed martial arts and then because I enjoyed fitness I wanted to make a career out of it and now I'm kind of have on the online perspective so yeah that's my that's my fitness journey all right, so I had to change the scenery because my stepdad came home. It was getting a bit noisy outside um, because of that. So yeah, anyway, we're in my room now recording content. But um, yeah, so that's why I now go to the gym because setting aside, setting aside a time of day to exercise allows me to actually uh, work out without being distracted by the PlayStation and the phone and stuff. Because when I'm at the gym, I'm locked in, I'm zoned, this is my time. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I gym, I gym every day. Ever, ever since I've been young, I've enjoyed exercise. Now I gym every, I go to the gym every day and try to build a nice aesthetic uh, physique. I go. I'm not gonna lie, that's clean. Oh, it's a movie. We're making a movie, brother. We're making a movie. All right, so sorry for any background noise, but how can my story help with your life? 
um, and your fitness journey. Uh, and in particularly, uh, I'm not saying, you know, you have to go and join, um, join a martial art gym because it's better for burning your overall nice physique um, than any other sport. Um, but what I am saying is that doing something you enjoy doing uh, fitness, uh, sport wise or fitness wise, you know, maybe you don't like lifting weights going to the gym or doing cardio, but maybe you enjoy doing martial arts, maybe you enjoy playing soccer, football, uh, basketball, whatever. Although the sports like that aren't going to get you uh, an aesthetic physique, they are going to still keep you fit and get you a, a decent athletic physique. What's, um, what's you know. What's good is gonna make you healthy, gonna make you stronger, make you gonna make you fitter. So why not if you don't like going to the gym in particularly, why not just do that? Um So yeah, so obviously with me, like I said, I enjoy exercising. So for me the gym's fine. A couple of things you can do in order to also help start your journey is if you do want to go to the gym, it will at least try it out. Go with a friend, preferably a friend that's been going to the gym for some time and has some knowledge of what they're talking about or like knows, has a decent idea of what good form looks like with exercises. Although if you're doing machines, you don't really need to know good form because you kind of get locked into good form. If you're doing cable machines, like a lap pull down, some form is required. Uh, if you're doing dumbbells or barbell, uh, form is generally required as well, but um, for the basis, if you're using machines, you kind of get locked in place, so you don't having too much knowledge is fine. Um, but they can help you pick up the exercise. They can, if again, if they've got some knowledge, if they've been going to the gym a couple months, or you know, someone like me or my friend, I mean, he, he's technically gone to the gym longer than me, but very on and off. I've been consistently going for a year, and I and I'm helping him get into shape. I've got a lot more knowledge when it comes to the gym and exercise. So, you know, um, he, he as a joke, he calls me his coach as a joke uh, since he's been training with me. Uh, well, since I've been, well, yeah, since he's been training with me, I've been kind of training him. But it's like having someone there, A, helps you feel more confident. I had a, I had a friend um, that doesn't, he's not a big fitness freak like me. He doesn't really like going to the gym. He's only started kind of exercising um, cause he's got a his dad bought a home gym years ago, and he so kind of uses it every now and then. Cause me and my other friend were telling him you need to get on it. Um, but he made us a, me, 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 my my other friend that's kind of similar to me. He loves going to the gym. You've seen him in a couple of videos. Brendan, uh, my our friend David, he hates the um, he, he hated the idea of going to the gym, but he promised us he'd go to the gym with us one time. So we dragged him to the gym and he, and he actually enjoyed it. Uh, it definitely helped his confidence that he had me and Brendan there to help him feel more comfortable. But yeah, like definitely um, go with a friend. It can help. It can help, can help you find a good gym. It can help you make sure enjoy the gym more. Um, I prefer, personally prefer to go alone now that I'm experienced. But when I wasn't experienced, um, going with a friend was great. Um, secondly, maybe you can't afford to go to the gym, so you can always train at home. There's plenty of guides online for calisthenics that you can do from the comfort of your home. A quick tip though, because this, this is what I used to do. It is harder to progress with overload without um, some form of weight. Because um, eventually you get to a point where doing more reps isn't going to really increase your pro progress. It will a little bit, but not... The more reps you, but eventually you get to a point where it's like the increasing your reps is a very micro um, improvement to strength and performance and your physique. Um, so, in saying that, uh, training at home is great. It's a free option, to free to very cheap option. Uh, they just if you are going to train, the train in a room that has little to no distractions. Uh, just because it makes it easier, if you can. I couldn't when it might when I was younger, so I used to train in my room, do push ups, squats, wall sits, um, sit ups. I would go outside, and I had like wood, these wooden planks outside my room that connected to like the the fence and stuff. So I used to jump up there and do pull ups and chin ups. 
I couldn't really do chin ups because it was like a fit piece of wood, but I could do pull ups. Um, but yeah, or you can find second hand equipment, uh, like the like a barbell, second hand for cheaper, dumbbells, uh, all in one machines. All in one machines can be quite pricey, but at least once you get it, you kind of have a machine that can train the whole body. If you do want to, if you don't want to go down the route of calisthenics, because calisthenics are great, but about, but you have to kind of go, you have to eventually go down the, the route of weighted calisthenics to make, to make continue making pro progress. Uh, with calisthenics, so in saying that you can do it from home, but it it just means you can, you have to be more patient with the results. But with all that knowledge, as one wise man once said, there's always something you can do. You know, is your ankle sore? Train, you know, train your arms. There's always something you can do. That came from Conor McGregor, by the way. That was the Conor McGregor was the wise man. He's got hate him or love him. He's got a lot of great um, motivational quotes. But yeah, um, like I said, there's always something you do. Even if you know, don't go to gym by yourself. Go to gym with a friend. Uh, you can't afford to go to the gym, or you got you're in a situation that you can't go to the gym. Train at home. That's what I did when I had COVID. Um, there's always something you can do. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching today's video. I uh, hope you enjoyed this new type of content. And if this video has helped you guys start your gym journey or motivated you um, with starting your fitness journey, whatever, uh, show me. You know, if you put it, if you post it to your Instagram, tag me at lil underscore lang twenty seven. Same as my YouTube. Um, I will link. I can link it below in the description. But regardless, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.